Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions or next actions towards you? Uh, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Virgo. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Virgo at this time. Regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time, what do we need to know about their energies, feelings, thoughts towards Virgo? What do we need to know about their energies towards Virgo? Let's see what we get for you, Virgo. Eight of Pentacles. Judgment. Okay, some sort of awakening, realization, and the Magician. Wow, two cards about action, effort, with the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, the Magician, they use whatever resources at their disposal to make something happen. And the Eight of Pentacles is very dedicated, hardworking. They put in time, effort, and focus into something. So I can't wait to find out what exactly they're so focused on. Bottom of the deck, we have the star, Aquarius Energy. This is um, a card all about hope, faith, healing, someone having, um, you know, hope or faith in something coming true or something coming their way, or just a lot of self-care, uh, self-healing, healing of a situation, etc. We'll have to see. Um, judgment and the star, immediately I think of healing a connection, but we will see. Can I get some more insight for Virgo? What's going on here for Virgo? The energy surrounding Virgo regarding love with this particular person. What are their energies towards Virgo? Spirit, this other individual. What are their energies towards Virgo at this time? We need to know their energies. Wow, love letter. A special message is on its way. And then we have deep regret. There's regret over past actions. I feel like someone has something to tell you about what they regret, what they feel guilt over, what they feel responsible for. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have lasting promise. Commitment, longevity, future. So I don't know if there was already an existing commitment or if someone um, had the potential for a long-term commitment with you and then there's regrets now. Let's get a romance in July. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Virgo? Regarding this person's energies. We need to know about this person's energies. Towards Virgo. What do we need to know? Towards, okay, that's way too many, but I want this one and this one. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor. So maybe someone's waiting to take care of a financial problem, a problem with work, a problem with resources. Um, and so they need you to be patient and wait for them. Okay. Let's get some insight in these energies that we got with the tarot. Spirit, tell me more about these energies. Let's start with the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Virgo? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Three of Cups. Coming together, reuniting, celebrating. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Four of Pentacles, holding on to something valuable, being guarded. What is going on? Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, okay, rebalancing a situation, giving to a situation. Maybe this person was holding back and now they're able to give to a situation. But why the Three of Cups? Hmm, let's keep going. Tell me about judgment. Judgment is about having a, a realization about the past. You are having a, a personal self-awakening um, because you've learned 
lessons from the past. So it's also a card about resurrection, revival. So it can be interpreted as second chances. Tell me about judgment. Six of swords. Tell me about judgment. Five of swords and then queen of pentacles. I get one more. Page of pentacles. Okay. Three of swords. Okay. I'm starting to think that there's some sort of issue here with the third person. Either you have a third party interference or they have a third party interference. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like there's an offer of potential for an opportunity, even though it's small here with the Page of Pentacles. Um, money could be an, uh, an issue here. I feel like someone's having a realization about a problem that has caused a lot of pain. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords. And there's the Ace of Swords. I feel like someone's being honest with themselves about whatever this is. Maybe having clarity or getting clarity about this problem. And I feel like someone wants to leave the past behind. Six of Swords is all about leaving the past behind. To whatever this Page of Pentacles might represent. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. There's the Five of Cups again. Well, I mean again because Deep Regret is based on the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, Five of Swords. Okay, tell me about the Page of Pentacles. I feel like someone's looking back at the past with regrets. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. And I feel like they want to be free of whatever this is. There's the Fool. Let me have a new beginning, a new start, a fresh, clean slate. Because I think there's a third party situation that did not work out or isn't doing well. Maybe it's finances that's getting in the way or career that's getting in the way. Or maybe it's another person. But whatever it is, I feel like someone's having realizations about it. Four of Swords. Yeah, so the Four of Swords is all about reflecting, healing. Maybe someone's done some inner healing and it's allowing them to make certain decisions or see things uh, in a clearer way. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. What's this about? Four of Cups. It was upside down. I don't have reversals here, but I'm going to interpret it. Four of Cups. So Four of Cups reverse is being open to something that you weren't open to before. Before, you were in, not interested, closed off, couldn't even see the opportunity in front of you. But now that it, this is reversed, you can see this opportunity now. Tell me about the Magician. And Virgo, this could be your energy here as well. Just, you know, feel free to flip it if it resonates for you. But for the purpose of this reading, this is what your person's thinking or feeling. So maybe they're, they're waking up to a, an opportunity that they were close to before. Tell me about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Okay. Six of Wands, Death, Scorpio Energy. Tell me about the Magician. Tell me about the Magician. The Hermit. There you are, Virgo. I think someone's really thinking a lot about their situation. And I think it's leading to some sort of ending. All of this is leading to some sort of ending for your person. Let's get some more insight onto what they're thinking or feeling. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo, towards this connection. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? What do we need to know? I can't let you go. This is very similar to the Taurus reading. If you're dealing with a Taurus, check out that reading that came with the batch of these readings that just went up. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. Okay. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Now what's this? You're always on my mind. So constantly thinking about you, overwhelmed with feelings of you, with, you know, whatever they're thinking regarding the past. Because whoever this is, they're definitely thinking of the past and having regrets. I get one more. I get one more for this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Virgo. I can't stop thinking about you. Jesus, keep... 
and I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, this person, whoever they are, they are thinking about you a lot. You're always on my mind. You can't stop thinking about you. I can't let you go. Um, let's get a stellar soulmate, and then I'll jump into their true intentions and next action. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies? When it comes to Virgo or this connection, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do you need to know about this person? Okay, Taurus bird. Okay, I feel like my deck wants a card wants to come out, but it, it won't. Okay, I must confess that I am in love with you. Feelings are strong, Virgo. I dream of a future with you. Yeah, definitely. They're thinking about the future because their current, the present is not working out and when they think about the past you're there you're there in some way so what are their intentions next actions towards you what are their intentions next actions towards virgo what are their intentions next actions towards virgo spirit this person's true intentions, next actions. Four of Cups. Oh my gosh. Nine of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so the Tower. Oh my gosh. Bottom of the deck, the Tower. So I feel like this person, in the near future, there's still this problem. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here to say that divine timing is at play here. Um, this is going to be worth waiting for once it comes to, I guess, once things start to happen. The Nine of Cups are telling me that whatever ends up happening with this wheel, it'll end up being someone's wish granted. You know, there'll be satisfaction at the end. But with the Four of Cups and the Five of Swords, I picture that this person is, is you know, the message that I'm getting here is the more they deal with their current problem, the less interested they are in the present and the more interested they, they are in the future. Because the problem in the present, the conflict they're dealing with, the sadness, the regret that they feel is just making them think about the future and a new beginning and a, a big change in their life. It's just the more that this they're in this problem and conflict, the more they want to get out of it. And I feel it's going to lead to a tower. Yeah, and then after the tower, there's the fool. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Just got a cramp. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Pentacles. Freedom, independence, security. And in this deck, the Nine of Stones... It looks like the Eight of Cups, like someone's walking away. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Empress. I feel like this person, they want abundance. They want to create, grow somewhere else. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. This is all about headed toward, towards a new beginning, somewhere where they could be with an Empress energy or somewhere where they can grow and manifest. Tell me about the Five of Swords with the Four of Cups. I feel like these two energies are like together. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Look at this person. An anxious, stressed out, tired overwhelmed tell me oh my god i almost just dropped most of my deck sorry henry my dog is right there at the on my uh at the foot of my table here okay so we have the two of pentacles that wanted to come out too i feel like this person they're burdened by this choice that they have to make I think they're, this, this situation is taking a lot out of them. The Two of Pentacles is also a card about juggling a lot at once, doing too much. 
I think this conflict is just eating at your person and draining them. Tell me more about the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. Strength. Yeah, this is what's needed. Leo energy. Being strong, courageous. Yeah, and the Ten of Wands. Someone needs to carry this burden a little bit longer. And they need to be strong to do that. But I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is here to assist. Whatever is happening in Divine Timing, I feel it's going to open a door to something new with the Ace of Wands. Somewhere where they can be satisfied, where they can have their wish granted. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What do we need to know, Spirit? About this Nine of Cups. Eight of Wands, movement, action, communication. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What do we need to know, Spirit? Two of Wands. A new path forward. And there's the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this person, they're leaving something behind. They're ending a situation and going down a different path. Where there's long-term stability, security, success. Because whatever they're in right now, whatever they're dealing with, it's not worth it anymore. And I feel like a lot of you, this is a third-party situation. And they're thinking about leaving this third party because they can't deal with it anymore. If that resonates for you, let me know in the comments. But that's how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.